It's very depressing. <laughs> oh. Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing my top five, maybe six actually, um, products. So let's make a start. Do you know, I can't remember for the life of me if I filmed this video or not. <laughs> so you may have seen it, who knows? That's the thing about getting old. Still got a bad shoulder, shoulder impingement. Can't do shoulders, can't do chest. <sighs> right, let's make a start. Um, first one, this is a great product because of A, the amount of product, B, the price, and C, it's English or British. So it's by Lily Lolo, and um, it is a mineral foundation. Now I'm wearing it here, and I am wearing the shade Candy Cane. And you get 10 grams of product in here, which is a massive amount for mineral foundations. Normally it's between four and six. It's just an all round really, really good product. I adore mineral foundations. They're pretty much the only thing I wear on camera here. They're just amazing and I love them and I think they look really good on skin. So really, really good brand. This is a great product. It's an oldie but a goodie. And it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this is the Double Wear Maximum Cover. And it is a foundation slash concealer that has an incredible amount of coverage to it. So it can cover a tattoo, just to kind of give you an example. Great as a concealer, great sheared out with moisturizer for a foundation, just an all round really good product. Um, this, is a, this was sent to me, um, I'll tell you about it now. It's the Paula's Choice, it is the Boost, and it is the Peptide Booster. You get 20 mils of product in here. Now they sent me this, and it arrived, and I said, oh, thanks so much. Then I received a massive import bill for it, massive. I could have bought like one and a half more of these. So anyway, it's a really nice product. It's really, really nice. I love Paula's Choice, but their prices are becoming incredibly astronomically high. They used to be called, uh, what I would say, were a medium priced brand. You could buy the products, they were affordable to a lot of people. Now they are going up. They even have an eye cream here in the UK, 15 mils for nearly 40 pounds or 32 pounds or 35 pounds, something like that. For 15 mils of product, that is a very high end product. And this is from a company that has always said, you don't need an eye cream. And you know, the boosters, you get 20 mils of product in the boosters and yet they're 40 something pounds for 20 mils of product. It, the, the, the prices are going ridiculous. It is no surprise because a few years ago, Paula's Choice sold their company. And I think a lot of people don't know that. And then we started to see this price increase and it's very, very disappointing because it's a great brand and one that I sadly am moving away from just because the price point for this is so very high and it's so sad. Um, okay, just wanna clarify one thing with regards to Charlotte Tilbury products. There's a couple of moany people on here who just feel the need to, anytime I talk about her products, say, you're sponsored, you're being paid, you're on the bankroll, I am not, it is that simple, I am not. I buy my Charlotte Tilbury products. Granted, I do get some PR samples, absolutely, but I buy my products, I absolutely buy them. All the ones you've seen here, I'm buying, I bought them. I bought multiples because I love them. So let me talk about this one because it's a peculiar product and one I've mentioned before, but I found a way to make it work really, really well. So the Hollywood Flawless Filter, now, it's a peculiar product because we don't really know what it is. You can use it over foundation, which is kind of how it's shown, and you sort of pat it on, but the problem with that is the formula is very tacky, it's glue-like, and it pulls the foundation off. So if you've got red skin, it's gonna start to dislodge it. Underneath foundation looks great, but then you powder your face and the result is gone. So, this is what I do. I take the wand out, and you get this really nice kind of wand, and I pu push it on the back of my hand, and I do that twice, and then I put a pump or two of foundation with it, and I go straight in with a brush and apply it to the skin. What this does is, because this is so tacky, it allows the foundation to stick to the skin incredibly well, and I mean incredibly well. Then you can go in 
after and strategically powder the T-zone and leave the rest of the face glowing. Now, if you like Estee Lauder Double Wear, the original Double Wear one, which I really do, so it's a really good foundation. Two dollops of this, one or two dollops of the Estee Lauder, mix it in, you get the longevity of the Estee Lauder with the radiance of the Hollywood filter. It is incredible combination. It also works well with the Magic Foundation, but those two, very good, very good indeed. So while I'm on the Charlotte Tilbury bandwagon, let's talk about the two new eyeshadow palettes. So Charlotte giveth, and then she taketh away with a limited edition. <laughs> So this is the Transform Eyes, and this is the Medium to Dark palette. So gorgeous, gorgeous shades. The red here is, or the orange, is absolutely beautiful. You've got a cool tone brown, and then two shimmery colors. Any skin tone, but it is kind of being promoted more for deeper skin tones. And then you've got the Exagger Eyes, so I'll pop that in for lighter complexions, but it's eyeshadows, you do what you want with it. They're gorgeous. I love, love, love them. Love them. Okay, so old but good. Let me show you a couple of color choices here. So this is the medium. This is such a staple. It's the Eve Paul Jewel Concealer. And this is the medium. And this is the dark. I believe there's an even deeper shade than this as well, which is lovely. They're so good. Eve Pearl doesn't get anywhere near enough credit um, she really doesn't. Her brand is really wonderful. It doesn't come with the ultra glamorous packaging or anything else, but she's a gorgeous, lovely person. And it is just, they're such staple products. You know, the HD, the Jewel Foundation. I mean, look at this color. This is the deep. I mean, look at that color. You know, good for you, Eve. Good for you. Okay, and finally, actually there's two more. Finally, these are great. These are the NARS Lip Ink. And I'm not a fan of liquid lipsticks, and probably alone in that regard, forever alone. But they go on really, really nice. So let me show you this shade, because it's very 1990s. It is called, what is it called? Hot Blooded. I'll be the judge of that. Very 1990s, and this is a beautiful shade, and it is called Le Freak. Le Freak. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Hello, lover. Look at that. Look at it. It smells absolutely divine. Like sun drops and rainbows. One more thing. Here we go. Last one. <laughs> Save the best for last. So about 10 years ago, I was at IMAX over Terry. 10 years ago actually. I was at IMATS and I saw the makeup artist Jane Bradley. Now, I have a massive, massive crush on, girl crush, on Jane Bradley. She is a celebrity makeup artist and her work is beautiful. It is natural, very natural, very beautiful. Do you remember when Leona Lewis did the video Bleeding Love and the whole kind of YouTube blew up with a whole, you know, recreating that makeup look? Jane Bradley is responsible. She is responsible for that. And she's so low key and so humble. And I saw her at IMATS, I was too scared to speak to her because I'm shy. But lo and behold, I wish I had because she's a lovely person and we converse and we have, you know, all those normal things. She's so lovely. She also did a DVD called Lips to Lashes and it is the most educational um, DVD on makeup you can get. You will learn an incredible amount from it. But anyway, so Jane Bradley just released this book. It is called The Teenage Girl Survival Bible and it is everything in here about makeup, about skin, about um, problems, about self-esteem. It is a complete guide. Now, obviously I'm not a teenage girl, but I love Jane Bradley, so I have to have it. And bizarrely enough, even though it is aimed at younger girls, not sort of six, but you get the message, it's teenage girls, it is filled with amazing information on skin and makeup and just every bullying, everything that is important. Now, I love it. I love Jane Bradley. 
and I love this book. It is so informative. The makeup section is very, very wonderful. It's educational. And she talks about things that we don't often want to talk about. And that's so important. So I'll leave all the information in the description bar for all these products. But if you can, if you've got a daughter or anybody like that, this would be lovely. And no, it's not sponsored. It's not. I just love her. If you can check out Lips to Lashes, if you have a DVD player and you can get it, maybe on Amazon or something like that, it's so good. It's so cool because she's just, she doesn't overload a face. And she does this really colorful blue eyeshadow look um, near the end of the DVD, and it's really colorful. But when you see the rest of the face, it, it's like, it's just beautiful. It's like Bobby Brown, but, um, I'm trying to work out how to say it. It's similar to Bobby Brown, but it's a more beautiful finish, if that makes sense. But there you go, that's the products. That's the products. Let me know what your thoughts are in the description bar below, but particularly let me know about Paula's Choice and about the prices, because it's driving me mad and it's, it bothers me, it really bothers me. I know we all have to make money, but when you've been medium price for so long and now you're doing an eye cream at the 30 plus pound mark and you're getting boosters. I and mean, one of the boosters is like 50 something pound for 20 mils of retinol. You can get a prescription strength Retin-A, a Tretinin cream for less money. It just makes no sense to me. Anyway, 